Hi, my beautiful Light Fragments Oracle Soul family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie, and I am so happy to be here with all of you. And I'm so happy that you decided to stop by. It's been a while because I've been a little under the weather. And I decided that we're going to talk about a topic today while I put on some new makeup. Not all of the makeup that I've gotten. I have so much to share with you. But a few products just to kick off the new holiday season, if you can see it, and to inspire you to get into your makeup for all of the parties and festivities that are coming down the pike this coming month. By the way, how was your Thanksgiving? If you celebrate Thanksgiving here in the States, we had Thanksgiving yesterday. So I did do a lot of cooking. But what's going on with me is, well, I just got over the cold sore that I had on my mouth. I had a week reprieve, and then I got another one right here under my nose. Right around the same time that my ear started bothering me. It's getting better slowly. I'm not on medication, but I do think that I got cold in my ear. If it's not any better by next week, I will be going to the doctors. But right now, it's manageable. And I've just been tired. Just tired. So I kind of took a week to circle back. Let's just put it that way. And we'll talk about that. So what do I have for new products to show you guys? Well, I have the new Natasha Denona Mini Triochrome Palette. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I did a few videos wearing this palette. It is just simply beautiful. And this is one of her new mini palettes. And I have a tip for you. If you do not want to spend the money on the larger Natasha Denona palettes, a mini is really all that you need. I got three looks out of this palette. And with each look, I got compliments about my eyeshadow. So they're buttery, they're shimmery, they're soft, they're dramatic. It all depends on how you put the eyeshadow on. So I'm going to be using this in today's video. I believe I paid $27 for this. Yeah, I paid $27 for this mini. And and that is a lot of money for a mini. But Natasha Denona's eyeshadows, they're pretty hard to beat. The next product that I have to share with you is a blush. And it's called the Almay Healthy Hue Blush in 300 Pink Flush. I don't want you to get the glare. But this is the component. And it has a magnetic shot to it. And this is what it looks like inside the component. It's very baked. And when you put it on, you can build it up. You can layer it. And it has this beautiful, soft, not a shimmer, but a hue to it. And this is the color. I'll show you what it looks like by doing a little swatch. 
And the reason I'm showing you all of this now is because as I'm applying this makeup, I'm not going to be telling you what it is. And I paid $6 for this on Amazon. Six bucks. And I did my research on it. And I am so happy that I did. I have already used it. And it is gorgeous. Six dollars. The next product that I got is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in 321B Precious Petals. And this is what it looks like. And the reason that I picked this up on Amazon is because it was only four dollars. Apparently this is Precious Petals is a favorite of this particular highlighter. So I'm just gonna, I haven't even used this yet. I'm just gonna do a little swatch next to the blush. It's gorgeous. I just love to say that word, gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. It's gorgeous. And so that's all I'm going to use for this video to, for makeup. I'm going to put on foundation that, I, that I've already shown. But my focus is the eyeshadow, the blush, and the highlighter. So let's begin. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a subject that I've been having a little bit of trouble with. It's been driving me crazy. I've been wanting to come up here and do a video for all of you for a week. And every time I went to do it, I just couldn't get my ducks in a row. And I went through a gamut of emotions, like, oh, this is me talking to me. And I'm telling you this just in case you do this. This is me talking to me. Get up out of your chair, Susie. You've got two hours. You can throw together a video. You can go up there. You can get this done. And my body would not move out of my chair. Because really, the only time that I have to do videos is in the morning or in the evening or on weekends. And I didn't realize that I was going to get be getting sick which is probably why my body just didn't want to move. But I knew I had to go to work. So I stored up all that energy just to get out the door and go to work. And I'm talking to myself and I'm telling myself, you're going to be a failure. You're not going to go anywhere with this. If you don't get going. And then I felt guilty and then I just wanted to rush through my day and then I would rush through my day and I, more things happened that compounded my day. And so I wanted to know what exactly it was that was making me feel like this. Besides the fact that I was coming down with something. And I realized what it was within the last 24 hours, which is why I'm here. Sometimes in life, we are asked by God and the universe to circle back to stop where we are and to circle back 
And no, this is not Mercury retrograde. This is just a season of life. And it could be any time of any season. And a lot of times it happens during the holidays when we see that our lives have changed so much. You know, we might have lost family members that we held dear and close to us. Perhaps job, you know, your job is getting stressful because depending on what you do. I mean, I know for my job, it picks up around the holidays because people want their houses to look nice during the holidays. And there ends up being more to do. But it's not just that. It's, it's not just that because, because work gets busy. I mean, it ebbs and it flows and it can get stressful. That wasn't it for me. Upon reflection, I realized that the circling back was me circling back into myself and reviewing all of the things in my life that matter to me, that are important to me. And it wasn't just because it was Thanksgiving. I've been doing this for a couple of weeks. And I made some decisions for myself, not the big decision that I know, know that I eventually am going to need to make. I made some little decisions. And let me know if this happens to you. I made the decision that I'm not going to chase people anymore. I want to be in someone's life because they want me there. And it's, it's just as easy for somebody else, whether it's a friend or a relative or uh, a sibling, an adult child, to pick up the phone and text or call as it is for me to do it. And the same goes for my partner. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want to be anybody's second thought anymore. And when you are an adult and you have a family, they come first. I understand that. But I also understand that it works both ways. And there comes a point in time in life where you have to put yourself first. And that's one of the conclusions that I came to. The second conclusion that I came to is I've always been big on laying boundaries. But I'm going to lay more boundaries. Boundaries such as you are not allowed, you meaning whomever, to ask me to drop what I'm doing unless it is an absolute emergency to cater to your needs. And my husband and I are getting older. We don't want to be on the road constantly and chronically. We do that for our jobs. So laying down some loving boundaries is a good thing too. And also partners laying down boundaries for one another. For instance, this is a good boundary. 
say your partner, you know, okay, your old hat. I mean, really, seriously, think about it. You've been married for 25, 30, 40 years. And all of a sudden, your old hat. Your old hat because they know basically what your, what your actions are going to be. You know, the topics that you're going to talk about. They know what you like to eat. I mean, and on and on and on. But then you see them talking to somebody else. And you say to yourself, wait a minute. I deserve to be the number one person in that person's life. And they need to be the number one person in my life. That's, that's what having a partnership is all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put that in my crease and outer corner. I mean, you guys have heard the old adage, familiarity breeds contempt. At first, when you meet somebody, everything is new. It's like you have so much to talk about because you're getting to know one another. And then after you've been together for a long time and you settle into the routine of being a couple you get married or whatever it is, live together. Everything changes. And that brings me to my next topic, change. I'm not very good with change. I get really anxious and really nervous. But I'm a good faker. I'm a really good faker. And people that meet me wouldn't even realize that, that I'm like that. You know, I'm the kind of person that, you know, makes plans and then decides I don't want to do it. Not this, because there's nobody here. This I love to do. And I love anything that has to do with creativity. I would spend all day, every day with whomever wants to do that. But I find that what I do is I tend to lean towards what somebody else wants to do. Instead of putting my foot down. And saying, no, I, re I really don't want to do that. I mean, it's just, it's not for me. And I'm trying to break that cycle. And I'm trying to embrace change in a different way. Are you like that? Are you the kind of person where you don't like your schedule, you know, your, the, your, your schedule to be upset? You don't like the apple cart to be upset? Well, I can be like that. Okay, so see how I have this light blue in the crease? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this light gray, gray blue shimmer and I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to put that on the inner corner and I'm going to brush it out on top of my lid. I want a really soft look. I don't want a harsh, shimmery look. So it's always good to circle back, but to circle back into yourself. To figure out what it is that makes you tick. Are you overtired? Are you overstressed? Are you overthinking? Are you overreacting? Are you overanalyzing? 
if you are, you are circling back to yourself, to your core being. And the circling back brings awareness. We are never totally 100% awakened, ever. It's a process that keeps circling and circling with change, new insights, ways that we're feeling. And that introspection brings out the passion in us, vitality, the will to move forward, being happy with life. And so if you find yourself at a spot where you almost feel like you're procrastinating or you're stagnating, circle in and ask yourself why that is. It could be that your heart has something very important for you to know. As of today, I freed myself up a little bit. And that's what you have to do. If you're feeling all of the emotions that I just talked to you about. Okay, now what I'm going to do, it, because this color is so gorgeous, I'm going to use this cobalt blue on the outside corner of my eye. And I'm just going to kind of make a V or a C or an L just on the outside corner, on the outside edge. Those situations can help us to rethink our values, to rethink what life is all about. Where does our core lie? Where, where does our core being lie? Not everybody wants to be surrounded by people all the time. We are all different. Some of us need our space. Some of us need to get away. And some of us are craving being with others. We're all different. Do you see how beautiful that? Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> this eyeshadow is like, oh my gosh, it just blends like a dream. So if you find yourself this holiday season, feeling down, you, you might, you might be able to pinpoint exactly what it is. I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint what it, what it was because I'm really happy with my life. I'm a happy person. But sometimes we get tired inside not because we're working 
but because the universe has something that it wants us to know and understand about ourselves as people, as individuals. And it's a time to grow. It's a time for all of us to grow. Okay, this side. So if you find yourself circling back, dredging up feelings, how you feel, the past, what, what used to be and what now isn't because of change. When you circle back inward, try to think about all of the things that you have now. Despite it all, reflect on what you really have instead of what you don't have. And I'm also going to ask you to do a health check. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you getting enough personal alone time? for reflection are you getting enough play time with friends or family or your partner have you been working too much and really take a good hard look at that okay i'm going to use my lys foundation My skin is getting lighter. But when I pounce this in, and I also want to show you what I do for my cold sore. I have, <laughs> I take my supplement and it really does cut down on, on the time of the actual cold sore. But I cover up my cold sores. Once I've treated them in the morning and they're dry, I do cover them up. And I take the point of my sponge and I stick it into the foundation. And then I just pat. It's still very swollen, but it's dry. Now I'm going to use the Elmay blush and watch how beautiful this looks. So basically what I do is I take my brush and I just swirl it in, tap it off. And I bring it down a little bit into the bronzer and up into my temples. Look how pretty. This is a very affordable blush, you guys. There are other colors, shades rather. Look at, 
This eyeshadow is so beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. So you can build this up more and more and more. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I like to put a little on my chin. And I like to put a little down my nose. I take my fan brush. And I'm going to take the Wet n Wild highlighter. Four dollars, folks. And I'm just going to touch the top of my cheekbone with it. A little above my eye. A little on my nose. Okay, now I'm going to put on some concealer and I'm going to use my Il Maquillage. I'm going to use two concealers. This Il Maquillage is very light for me, but I, I really love the way the concealer goes on. I love the doe foot. So... Look how light that is. I'm kind of using it as a lightening, just lightening up where it's really dark under my eyes. My eyes have looked like this all week. Anytime, it's been 21 years since I've had an ear infection. I don't think it's an infection because I don't have a fever, but I think that it's brewing. And I think that I have cold in my ear because it's been aching. Okay, now let me put on a little bit of brow gel. We are going to a music, a dinner and music tomorrow night. My husband bought tickets. This is, this is what I was talking to you about. I would rather stay home, but I'm going to embrace this opportunity because life is short and I'm not going to worry about the things that I have to do like videos even though I love doing them I'm not going to worry all is well and life is going to happen whether I want it to or not. Okay, my friends, this is the finished look. I wanted to remind you that the giveaway for either one of the first runs of my Light Fragments Oracle card decks or the Mystery Beauty Box is over. Um, I will be doing the raffle this weekend, so you still have a little bit of time to go over to the giveaway video, which I will link right here. And if you are, would like the Oracle Card deck, that's my personal deck, this is the first run, so it is darker. The run came out darker, so it's not the lighter run. And I had one left, and I used it at the fairs as a show deck. Um, it's in perfect condition. If you watch that other video, you will see because I show it. 
or if you are interested in the mystery beauty box, I have some really nice things that are going into that mystery box. So what you have to do is type in beauty if you're interested in the mystery beauty box or cards if you are interested in the card deck. Not in this video, in that video that I'm putting up here. And for my lipstick, I used Allie Glines is Revie Beauty lipstick. This one is Tulip. I'm telling you, these lipsticks, look at, they are gorgeous. And they stay on. Um, I put this lipstick on a week ago. And it stayed on most of the morning. Um, it doesn't have end up having the slip, but it still has the color. So it's a really great, high quality lipstick for twenty two bucks. I placed an order with Charlotte Tilbury. The buy one get one. Well, I didn't get what I the order that I placed and I have all the paperwork to prove it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to send this back what they sent me because this is not what I ordered. And then I decided, no, I'm going to put this in my, one of my mystery boxes. I got the gigantic size of the airbrush flawless setting spray it's huge. I have two of these. It's going to take me forever to use a bottle. And I paid $75 and I got two of these, which wowza, these are pricey. I decided that what they sent me was actually more expensive. And then I ended up getting the Contour Wand Easy Contour Hollywood. And this is medium deep, which, you know, I'm not thrilled about that because, well, I did order one of the items that I ordered was a medium deep, but this wasn't it. So that this is what it is. This skin is pretty light under here. So I'm going to draw a line right there. If you use your wet sponge and you pat it, you can really blend it out and get a nice contour. See that? So it looks scary if you have light skin, but you can blend it out. So those these two items are going to be in the mystery box but i'm not going to tell you what else is going to be in there okay this one is mine look i've tried bunches of setting sprays little samples this is my favorite i'm probably not going to purchase any other setting spray i love this setting spray and what i like about it is the mist is so fine that you can close your eyes and you can go over your eyeshadow with it. And by the way, it even sets your mascara. It's just, the smell is beautiful. It's the best. In my opinion, it's the best. I know other people feel differently about different products, but to me, it's the best. Okay, we're going to pull a card and we're going to call it a day. Thank you for listening to me. I hope that I made sense. I don't... Whoops! <laughs> okay. This card is Serafina. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. 
Now, a happy change or addition doesn't necessarily mean a baby. It could be a pet. It could be a new business, a new venture. It could be putting an actual addition on your house. It could be moving. So isn't that interesting? I talked about change. It's not black and white. It never is. Unless you're wearing black and white. And speaking of black and white, we have yin and yang. And when we're all out of balance, when we're all out of whack, we're going to feel it in our core. And the only way to bring that balance back is to circle back into the heart. Into you. Okay, my friends, be well, be blessed, be beautiful, because you are, because there is nobody else on this planet like you. I love you so much, and you'll be seeing more of me in the not-too-distant future, because I have a lot of makeup to share. Mwah! You know I love ya. And there's the little buggeroo barking away. Oh, Teddy, 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 what am I going to do with you? You're so pretty. Teddy, I'm coming. And he's going deaf. There, he hears me now. 